Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I will be showing you how to pinch a glue on nail tip. These are my favorite tips. They are the ones I'm going to be using. They're very thin and they're already etched on the surface for you, so you don't need to do that. You get 500 in a box and I will have the link in the description box for you. So what you need to do is just size up the tip that fits you and glue it on. You just get your tip cutters out and then you trim the tip to the length that you like. And I've already done that. As you can see, looking at this tip, it is a square tip, but it can be cut into a tapered square and you can even shape it into an almond, pretty much whatever you want. And as you can see, the tip is very thin and very flexible. And there is a C curve to it, if you take a look at it here, but I am going to even pinch it to give it even a tighter C curve. I'm using clear acrylic from the Tones Company. This is glass, and I will also be using their monomer. I will have links to both of these items in the description box below. This is a, it's like a regular setting monomer. It's not a fast set, okay? So it's about 90 seconds, I would say. I'm only going to apply the acrylic to where the tip is glued onto the nail at the free edge and then on the tip itself because that's the only part that I'm going to pinch is the tip area. So I don't need it anywhere else right now. I'm just keeping my beads very small and a little bit loose because I just want a very thin layer of acrylic on that tip. I know I said that this acrylic takes about 90 seconds to set up, but that could vary according to temperatures outside and in your home. If it's hot in your home or your studio, your acrylic is probably going to set faster. If it's colder, your acrylic will set slower. When I recorded this video, it was cold here, so it took a little bit longer. Now that I have the acrylic on, I have to wait until it turns matte and then when it warms up, okay? When it warms up, that is the time to pinch it. And if you can't feel the warmth on the tip, I have a way that I can feel it because I can't touch the tip and just feel it getting hot because uh, I just, I can't feel that with my fingertips. So I have to, and I know this sounds crazy, I have to take the, the nail tip and I have to put it like on my cheek and then I can feel the heat and then I'll know when it's time to pinch, when it when you can start feeling the heat, okay? And the reason that you're feeling heat is because the acrylic is starting to polymerize. It's starting to cure up. That's how it does it, okay? It becomes warm, kind of hot, not real hot, and then it starts to cool down. And when it cools down, is when it will hold that pinch for you. There's also a way to tell where it's going to get warm first. And that would be wherever you laid that first bead, okay? That's where it's gonna get warm first. And I laid the first bead where the nail tip is glued on to my natural nail at the free edge. So that's where it's gonna start to get warm first. And then I applied the second bead right above that and so on. So it's going to start and get warm where the first bead was laid all the way up until the last bead, okay? So yeah, I was just checking the nail to see about the warmth. And here I go again, I'm checking it again another time. Just on my cheek, right, probably right around my, above my lip area is another good place that I test it. And I wanted to keep this in real time so that you could see how long it takes. Take a look at the C curve here. It's a nice C curve, but I am going to pinch it in even more. And I will show you the comparison when it's done. So now I checked it and it's starting to get warm and you can see that I'm starting to pinch now. It's not warm all the way up 
the tip, but it's starting to get warm where I placed that first bead. So I'm pinching down there first. I'm checking the tip again for more warmth and it's starting to get warmer farther up the tip. So I'm going to start and pinch more towards the tip area. Oh yeah, it's starting now. It's really getting warm now all over, so I'm really holding that pinch in, okay? I wanna hold it in till it starts to stay, okay, and not move. And the tip will also start cooling down. Do you see how I hold it? I'm holding it because the heat is there right now. And when it starts to cool, it'll keep its shape. When I watch acrylic nail videos and I see people create the acrylic nail base and then they do the whole design over top of it and then they don't start pinching it until they encapsulate it, by that time, you might as well forget it. You're not gonna change the shape of the nail once you have encapsulated the nail it's done you know the base is already hardened so you need to pinch the base first okay and get it where you want it and then you can do your nail design over top of it i mean it's it's logic you know All right, I checked it again to see where the heat level is and it's starting to cool down a little bit, but you can also see here in this tip that it has gotten a lot slender, more slender. Look at that. Do you see that? Definitely a lot, looks a lot more slender. And look at the C curve. Do you see that? It is really, I really squeezed it a lot. So I'm gonna show you a comparison shot right now. On the left is when we started and on the right is when we finished. So I did pinch it quite a bit. It's a lot more narrow than when we started. I need this tip to be almond shape so it matches my other nails that I'm wearing. So it's still a very thin nail tip here. It's thin enough to where I can still cut it with these small scissors. So I'm just trimming the sides in first, just to save filing. And now I will shape the nail into an almond. And I'm finished. And that's what it looks like. And now I can apply builder gel over top of this. And I just wanted to show you how you can take a tip and apply acrylic to it and pinch it into shape and give it a nice tight C curve. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.